The shorts are very special, you know. I think it was the first pair of short shorts that went on uh, as a regular, and they had to be made to fit your body. And I'm very, I'm very conscious of my figure, and I'm short, and I'm not long-legged like Ginger was. And so, how do you make the the shorts flattering? And then we had the issue of no cleavage, no belly buttons. So, you know, if you can imagine me in something this little, I just found these. They were in my trunk. And you, you see the little point at the top, which covered my navel. And, and, and there was a little pocket here. And then I designed them so that they would dip on the side so that would make my waist look smaller. And then I designed them so they would be short of the legs so my legs would look longer. And I can't believe I actually wore these. <laughs> and my comment the other day was, I wonder what underwear I wore under these. They didn't have thongs in those days. <laughs> so it's really quite a find. They were, they were the first of a kind. And what was this about covering belly buttons? Oh, that was censorships. The Howells had twin beds. If you realize, you know, there was no, uh, we were seven people on an island with no chaperone. <laughs> so there was none of that sexuality going on. Every time Ginger kissed somebody, it either knocked Gillingham out or somebody fainted or something. There wasn't any, no sensuality. And uh, uh, the, the cleavage and the belly buttons, Sherwood always talks about, well, it was a bad day because Ginger showed her cleavage three times and Marianne was walking and he showed her navel twice and he had to come in and correct it all. I mean, it's really funny when you stop and think, where, where, where are we now? No underwear. I don't know. <laughs> have we come a long way or have we gone to pot? I'm not sure.